anniversary. Happy well, that's birthday. awesome. We're celebrating that tonight uh, here at our church. Anybody in this group that's had a birthday in the month of February would have a problem with this. We're going to call y'all our honorary birthday anniversary. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you. Long time being married. That's pretty cool. But I'm also going to share real quick uh, this brief scriptures because I know Thank all y'all want to talk to brother, brother and sister here and and others amongst us. So we Church want to know what's going on. Those of us in family that's not from Calvary, we know that you are family. <clears throat> the bathrooms are through that door, okay? So that's <laughs> all you got to know, right? Anything else you need to know? Folding up. Go from our way. So let's ask somebody. We're going to have some devotion. Philippians chapter 4, Thank verse you. 7. Very simple passage. It says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mm -hmm. minds through Jesus Christ. Yep. When we think about peace and what's going on in peace, I, mm -hmm. I've shared with you before, I had a dear, lovely lady who passed away. She prayed every day for peace. Oh, wow. And that's something that all of us should pray about because, mm -hmm. you know, yep. this, the way the world is, we need oh, yeah. peace with our salvation, be at peace with our walk that we're having, and we need to be at peace with each other and, and have total unity within our family. And uh, I, I'm proud to say that I, I believe that Calvary Church is, is very peaceful. Amen. Amen. Uh, going into revival next week, which we've already been in, I mean, I just I expect great things from God. Oh, yeah. And I hope that you all are looking for it because it has to come from you. Mm -hmm. But the, the scripture yeah, come up to very plainly about that peace of God and have, having all the understanding that we might should think we have to have ourselves. Meaning, we may think that this brings us peace. In other words, uh, I'd love to have a new bass boat. That would make me very peaceful, right? <laughs> uh, it would make me peaceful until I got home and my wife seen the paper and then I'm not peaceful. <laughs> uh, there's many things like that that we go through yeah. in our lives. We just see things that we think brings us peace. Your peace from, comes from God and God only. That's true. I was sitting in this back, this couple of homes this last Sunday just for a brief moment. And uh, Brother Frank returned to his Bible by the nightstand, and I'll never forget that as long as I live and not the nightstand at the table. And he turned in his Bible, he knew exactly what he was looking for, and he pulled it out, and I read it. And it talked about what a wonderful, wonderful servant of God he is. Mm -hmm. And Mary Lou as well. 